Here's your local market update for November 2022. The number of homes on the market in the Des Moines metro area rose again this past month to 34% over this time last year, as reported by the Des Moines Area Association of Realtors. There are 2,952 homes on the market this November, while 2,194 homes on the market November of 2021. There was a slight decrease of homes on the market from just last October. They had 2,989 homes. Home sales dropped in November by 14% compared to just last month. We were down 32% from November of 2021. 933 homes sold in November, while 1,386 homes sold in November of 2021. The medium sale price decreased slightly from last year. November 2021, the median sale price was 252000 and this November it calculated to 250000 The interesting stat, though, is the decrease of the median sale price from last month to this month was a negative 5%. The average days on market was 33 days, and last month was 34 days, so pretty consistent there. Here's my take. I think this time of year, people are always wondering what's going to happen with real estate next year. So after um, a lot of research uh, from various sources, here's what I can summarize for you. Home prices will increase slightly, uh, plus 5.4%. Now keep in mind, 2022 home prices increased uh, plus 10.2%. Home sales are forecasted to be negative 14.1% to 4.53 million. Mortgage rates will be between 5.5% and 7.1%. It seems the economists and the NAR differ a little bit on this one. Home ownership is pretty steady throughout the last three years, though, at 66%. Rent growth. So they forecast the rent growth to be a point, point excuse me, plus 6.3%. So you notice how that's a higher growth rate than our home price growth rate. Home inventory will increase 23%. In 2022, it was 4%. In 2021, it was a negative 19.4%. Interesting numbers there. So in 2021, we had one of the best years in real estate. Mortgage rates were low, inventory was low, while home prices were high and home sales were high. At well, plus 8.5%, homes sold with 6.12 million homes sold. So this data suggests what's going to happen in our market next year when the mortgage rates are high and the inventory is high and the home prices are low and the home sales are low. So it's going to balance out our market, but it will still provide uh, opportunity for those that are looking for that kind of market. And where I differ on a national forecast is that they're saying it's going to remain a seller's market throughout 2023. Uh, maybe that's true on a national scale, but I don't think that's going to happen here in the Des Moines area. Locally, our homes on the market are up. 34% from last year. And this fact, along with the higher mortgage rates, interest rates, and some buyers are not able to qualify at 6 or 7%. So they've dropped out of the market. And we can see that this is showing up in uh, price reductions. But there's still buyer demand. We've got buyer demand out there. Um, and they like having more homes to choose from. Now, sellers, um, sellers in 2023, they're going to have to be more patient and more reasonable about pricing their homes. So that's the forecast for 2023. If you have any questions about any of that information um, or if you like further details, just let me know. I'm always happy to help and I'll see you here next month.